Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at the eBay Amazon scraper from scrapingsolutions.com.au. The purpose of this scraper is to scrape product details from eBay seller shops for any eBay domain. It will scrape ASI and numbers and URL of any product from Amazon for that matching product from eBay. The software is also a great tool to find arbitrage products between eBay and Amazon and also a great tool to spy on your competitors best selling products in eBay since it gives the quantity sold for each product. Ok so let's take a look at the program. First of all click on the edit sellers button at the top and in here is where you enter the sellers username from the eBay website and you can have as many as you like in this box and that will search all of the items from that seller. Now if you want to get items from a selected category from the seller press on the get search URL link at the bottom here and this will open up the web browser and then you just enter the uh, username uh, the seller's ID in this box here and then press search and then here on the left hand side is where you can choose the category uh, so I'll just choose fitness and then you can go ahead and uh, just copy the URL from the address bar just control C and then we'll just paste it by control V in this box here just under the username and then just press OK when you're ready and before we start the scraping process you need to select um, on eBay if you want to choose the United States version or the UK version etc and you just select it from the list here and also do the same with Amazon as well so we've got .com um, we've got Dakota UK etc and then when you're ready just press on start and then we'll just wait for the results And when you're ready to stop the scraping process, just press on the stop button. Okay, so as you can see, it's collected all that information for us and it's captured both of the seller's um, product information. And we've got this seller here. And if I scroll up, it goes to this seller as well. Um, so we have both of them on the list. And if I go right to the top, I'll go through some of the columns. We have the listing ID and we have the URL to the images and we have of course the seller and we have the URL to the page on eBay and we have the title and we have the category and the category ID and price and you can use these scroll bars here to scroll across and we have the price currency and we have the quantity sold and the postage price and we have the postage currency and we have the description which is useful and um, we have the quantity and the condition of the item um, we have the Amazon ASIN and the URL to the Amazon page and we have the date created and modified and then it goes on to listing other information as well as you can see the list just goes on and on so all that information has been collected and ready for exporting I'll mention also that you can click on the uh, eBay URLs, just double tap and it will take you straight into the browser directly to the page on eBay. So that might be useful. Um, I'll just go through some of the other settings as well um, before we do the exporting. Um, we have the duplicate checks right here and that's set to on at the moment. You just click to switch it off. Um, we have the threads currently set to one you can use multi-threads when extracting data and it will speed up the data extraction process uh, but as a warning it can block your IP quickly now over here we've got the settings for shipping and I'll just click on that and um, here we've got the country code currently set to US you can click on more info and it will take you to eBay and it's got a list of uh, country codes here um, so you can just grab the country code uh, and just enter it into the box 
right here. And also we've got the postal code uh, or zip code, you just enter that in there. And uh, it's, it's certainly worth doing that, especially if you're in the US, uh, you'll need your zip code before you can do a search. And you also uh, noticed that um, when I, while I was doing the search, it was automatically scrolling down like this. And that is an option that's uh, selected currently under tools. And you see it says auto scroll list. So if I disable that, it won't scroll down automatically. Okay, so now let's have a look at exporting the data. Simply press the export to file button at the top. And then in this box that opens up, just select a location for the file on your computer. So I'm going to put the file on my desktop. Then enter a file name, I'll call it data. And then where it says save as type, currently set to a CSV file, you can use the pull down menu and select a different file type. The other option is Excel, but they'll actually both open up in Excel. So I'll use a CSV file and then press save. Export has been completed, press OK. And then if I bring this file into view so you can see, we now have the data file there and we can just double tap that to open. Okay, so here is uh, the data and we're viewing it in Excel. And you can see it's collected it in the same columns and rows. Um, we can scroll down here and um, we can also go across as well. So all that data has been collected and ready to be used. So this program has the ability to collect a number of items sold for each product of the seller. This is very vital data to find out top selling products of a given seller. Now the program, if you close it, it will actually restart with the data saved so you can resume at a later date. But if you want to clear that information and start from scratch, press the file button at the top. And then just click on reset database. And lastly, the program uses techniques like random time delays, multiple browser use agents to avoid any IP bans. If you have a similar requirement to extract data from eBay and Amazon, you can always buy this offer from us and we can completely customize it for your needs within three to five business days. We also give free 12 months warranty on the software against any HTML changes done by eBay or Amazon that could stop the software working. We also provide six months payment plans if you want to pay monthly for the software. But if you are too busy to run a software on your own, you can use our 100% managed data extraction services. So we just send you the data you require daily, weekly or monthly for a small fee. Get in touch with us using our website www.scrapingsolutions.com.au and click on get a quote on the top right hand corner of the website. We will then give you a quote for our managed data extraction services or to buy the software as it is with any modification you like to it. We usually reply within a couple of hours. Don't forget you can check us out on our YouTube channel. The link is on the screen now. Thank you for watching.